Hey everyone, my name is Brandon Reynolds. Um, I've got a chance to meet most of you uh, earlier this week, but I'm our insulation specialist for CCM. I have some really cool products to show you today that we're excited about. So do the membrane and the adhesive guys. So who's ready to learn? Who are you joking? You're consultants. You know it all already. That's, that's enough of that. Shots fired. Um, so last year we introduced the rapid lock roofing system and we're going to start this on this side of the deck and move across on the slope. We introduced this. It's a revolutionary roofing system where it's a hook and loop attachment method. The result is a fully adhered system with no adhesives. At the time of launch last year we had two insulation options. One was our half inch Secure Shield HD, our high density cover board with a rapid lock technology. And the second one was our insul base RL material, which is our standard density 20 PSI paper face polyiso, again with a rapid lock technology. Since last year, we've added a third product line, or a third product to our offering. So, what you're looking at right up here is actually our Secure Shield RL. So, this is coated glass face on both sides, 20 PSI polyiso with a rapid lock technology. So, now we have three options paper face the coated glass face product and high density polyiso all can be substrates under the rapid lock roofing system. Again, the top facer here acts as the hook. We've optimized the fleece on our fleece back membranes to act as the, um, as the loop. So hook and loop, no adhesives on this system. I'm gonna turn it over to Brian now and he's gonna talk about installation techniques on this and the membrane. All right, thank you, Brian. Uh, so my name is Brian Callum, and I'm a fleece back product development and technical specialist based out of Carlisle. Um, Brandon covers some of the insulation. Whenever we launched this product, we had uh, EPDM and TPO versions of Rapid Lock. They're both 115 mil membranes. Uh, we are currently in the trial phase of PVC, which is what we have to demonstrate for you today. Uh, as Brandon mentioned, it's an adhesive list system. So, nice part about this is no temperature restrictions. You can, you can mechanically attach or adhere the insulation. Um, so today we have a down uh, standard mechanically fastened system for the insulation. With the membrane, it does all come with a release liner on the bottom that is split down the middle. So we do have half of this already installed. And we'll be able to uh, have the guys come out and pull the release liner here then and slide this in. Uh, you can do barn door or you can pull out the release liner. Each contractor knows how their crews work best. You can essentially set the sheet, pull the release liner, put it in, and you'll just broom and roll this membrane in. So this system does have a full FM 1-90 rating. So we have our 90 pressure in the field, our 150 in the perimeter, and a 225 pressure in the corner for this system. Uh, we are currently cap making the system uh, capping at a 20 year and 90 mile per hour wind speed warranties as well. As he says, Chris is brooming that in, you'll be able to come through and see. It does look a little different than our standard fleece back membranes. The plates do come through. We're you know, again, we're taking out that adhesive. So the nice part with this is it's always going to be the same type of system. So it's uh, repeatably, consistently repeatable. So with that, not having any flash off times or coverage rate issues with any type of adhesive being dispensed. All right. So with this, uh, do we have any questions about rapid lock? Most of you see the demonstrations we did yesterday or a two by two uh, demonstration kits or performance kits. Okay. No, this is, everything goes through, I have to be a certified uh, Carlisle installer in order to install the products. So this is part of our training system where they come through it in Carlisle and they get trained. This is one of the products they train on now as well. Yes. How do you seam end laps? Uh, so, good question. How do you seam end laps? So the, the, the detail of that would be just like a standard fleece back detail. So you would butt your sheets up to one another. Up, You can have up to one inch gap and then for EPDM, you can strip that in with cured cover strip. For a TPO or PVC membrane, you would hot air weld uh, membrane over top of those, those end laps. Is 